Hello there and welcome to Eurac with Bo and I'm very happy to bring you the next step in my little Eurac adventure, Eurac drum modules. So in this video I'll build a little Eurac drum machine, I will talk about three reasons why I think Eurac drum modules are fun and exciting, as well as do a little quick mini review of the hex inverter drum modules. So let's get to it! I'm currently doing a little project here with Hex Inverter Electronique who makes these drum modules and if you stick around to the end I'll be teasing an upcoming cool module that I'll be featuring further down the line on this channel. Now when I started looking at drum modules I wasn't sure that I wanted to use up my space in my Eurac for drum sounds and I think it's a valid question because when you go into Eurac you do need to think about what you want to use your space for so don't buy modules of any kind that you don't really think you'll be using. That being said, I did find the drum modules a lot more fun and exciting than I initially thought. Now the first reason is very obvious, I like hands-on control when it comes to my drum sounds, that's why I have so many different drum machines, I just enjoy the, the tactile hands-on feel. But that brings us into point number two, which is that Eurac drum modules often have a, a little bit more flexible and easy way to modulate different parameters. For example, the hex inverter stuff have a couple of different options for for modulating, for example, the, the pitch of the drum machine, the decay of the bass drum, for example, and this way you can more easily create variations and dynamic changes than on many different drum machines. For example, if I compare it to the Drum Brute, the Drum Brute doesn't have that sort of automation possibility. You can accent stuff, but you can't really modulate any of the parameters without you being there tweaking them. So I think that's a big benefit for the Eurac drum modules. And reason number three is that they are self-contained. So what do I mean by that? Well, if you're building a more traditional synth voice, you'll need an oscillator, digital or analog, you'll need an ADSR, you need a couple of different things in order to make it work. But with a drum module like this, for example, you can just use uh, Beats the Pro to send a gate value into the clap unit itself and then output it somewhere. I'm outputting it into the Bastl Dude, so it's not even a Eurac mixer. And that way you have a drum sound. It doesn't require any more additional modules. Modules. So for the space it takes up, you get an entire voice, so to speak. And some of you guys will be so smug in the comment section, because yes, I needed to remove the Mother 32 from the case. For now, I'll put it in my next 6U, because yes, I am already at that point.
So for this I've been using the Beatstep Pro to sequence the drum modules. I basically use the drum track and the gates out so you have individual sequencer lanes for the kick and snare and so on. Basically I have five voices set up and then I run the five voices into the Bastel Dude it's a five channel mono mixer, works really nicely for this purpose. Now of course the signal out of the U-Rack is really hot, so you can't really yeah, you can't really amplify it that much, you know, on the units themselves. And I'm probably not taking advantage of the dynamics of the units fully in this setup. And just to do a quick mini review of the modules. The bass drum is really cool, you can switch between sine wave and square wave. You can actually do a pretty mean bass sound and use some other source to modulate the pitch. I really enjoyed the gnarly sound of the kick drum. The kick drum is definitely my favorite, but I also enjoyed the clap. When you pitch it down, you get this kind of lo-fi effect, so that's pretty cool as well. It's also really nice that each module sports its own filter. You have the cutoff, so you can shape the sound a little bit more. I also enjoyed that the snare drum, for example, can be used to create a pretty cool tom-like sound as well. So there's a lot of tonal possibilities here. I guess one takeaway is that Urac drum modules is a really interesting way to do Urac because they don't really take away from your music making process. They're very straightforward to use, but at the same time you have all the patching possibilities as with any module. In this setup I'm using the Beats the Pro to sequence the drums and I'm using the Digitact to sequence the Mini Brute 2. But wouldn't it be nice if I could just use the Digitact to sequence everything? What if there's a new module coming that would solve all of that for me? Hmm, that would be nice. So thank you guys for watching this episode of Urack with Bo. Hit the like button if you want to, subscribe if you want to, and you can always support the work I do over on patreon.com slash bowbeats. So have a super pleasant day, thank you so much.